In this video, we're going to look at solving a system of three equations with three variables. Here we have 3x plus 2y minus z equals negative 1, negative 2x minus 2y plus 3z equals 5, and 5x plus 2y minus z equals 3. When solving a system with three variables, it helps to keep organized, so I'm going to use Roman numerals 1, 2, and 3 to represent the three equations that we're working with. When we have three equations and three variables, our strategy is going to be to eliminate the same variable twice so that we end up with two equations and two variables, which we should be very comfortable solving. As we look to eliminate the same variable twice, we look inside the problem to see if there is stuff that might eliminate quickly and easily. You might notice that the first two equations have negative 2y and positive 2y. Those y's would eliminate really quickly. Similarly, the last two equations have negative 2y and positive 2y. Those would eliminate quickly as well, so let's try and eliminate the y's twice. We said we could do that with equations 1 and equations 2. Equation 1 was 3x plus 2y minus z equals negative 1, and equation 2 was negative 2x minus 2y plus 3z equals 5. Combining those together, the y's eliminate, and we're just left with x plus 2z equals 4. I'm going to label this equation, equation A. We will come back to it in just a minute. Before we do, though, we need to eliminate the y's a second time, and we noticed we could eliminate y easily using equations 2 and equations 3, because we already have opposites in front of the y. Equation 2 was negative 2x minus 2y plus 3z equals 5, and equation 3 is 5x plus 2y minus z equals 3. Two y's eliminate, and we're just left with 3x plus 2z equals 8. We will call this equation B. Notice, because we've eliminated the y's twice, equations A and B make up two equations with two unknowns. A is x plus 2z equals 4, and B is 3x plus 2z equals 8, and we can solve these quickly. Multiply the first equation by negative 1, come over here to the right, and it gives me negative x minus 2z equals negative 4. Equation B is still 3x plus 2z equals 8. When we combine them, we're left with 2x equals 4. Divide both sides by 2, and x is equal to 2. We can find y by going back to either a or b, one of those equations we started with. Let's go back to a. a says x plus 2z equals 4, so 2 plus 2z equals 4. Subtract 2 from both sides, and 2z equals 2. Divide both sides by 2, and we know now that z is equal to 1. What we've done here is solve that a, b equation, finding out that x is 2 and z is 1. We still need y, and to find y, now we'll go back all the way to the original problem and use one of the equations, it doesn't matter which, so let's just use equation 1 and replace the x and z we know. 3x, or 3 times 2, plus 2y minus z, or 1, equals negative 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2y minus 1 equals negative 1. Combine like terms, and 5 plus 2y equals negative 1. Subtract 5 from both sides, 2y is negative 6. Divide both sides by 2, and we know y is negative 3. As an ordered pair, I'll put it at the top here, x, y, z, x is 2, y is negative 3, and z is 1. We have our solution.